I am hungry. I am hungry. Ah! Hi guys welcome back I hope everyone is fine I was not so active on YouTube for a while but I'm excited to be back and we are going to dive into the 4 weeks out complete lineup update of Arnold Classic Ohio 2024. Hadi Chupan is one of the favorites to win Arnold Classic and many fans have him to be the last man standing. His recent updates are mesmerizing fans as he's aiming to bring his best look in his first entry on Arnold Classic stage. As we know his biggest challenge will be the Nigerian lion Samson Dauda and technically Samson has not beaten Hadi Chopin yet. I think Samson and Hadi competed so far three times together on stage, Vancouver Pro 2019, Olympia 2022 and 2023 where Hadi was clearly dominant and this is going to be their fourth show where they will fight head to head with each other. No doubt Hadi will be the most shredded contestant on stage and I don't think Samson will have any chance to out-condition Hadi. Hadi has very mature dense physique. In his recent update he's showcasing his thick, round and very vascular physique. And after losing the Olympia title from Derek Linsford, Hadi seems extremely determined to prove his potential, his caliber which can really upset his fellow contestants, especially Samson Dauda. But Samson is improving constantly in every other show. I think his conditioning will be much better than his last show. You can see his striated glutes and impressive details all over his physique in his most recent update. I think we are going to see the most improved package of Samson, especially from conditioning standpoint in 4 weeks on Arnold Classic stage. As I said earlier, Hadi has very mature, dense and very shredded physique but we have not seen any major progress from Hadi. On the other hand, Samson has made drastic improvements. His main strengths against Hadi are going to be his size advantage, his incredible flow, his classic and aesthetic look which I think really matters on Arnold Classic stage. Hadi and Samson both have very different physiques. Last year in Arnold Classic, we saw the mass monster Nick Walker. The second place award to our runner up this evening, Nick Walker. Losing from the aesthetically pleasing bodybuilder Samson Dauda. So I'm convinced to believe that it's not going to be an easy task for Hadi to dethrone the reigning champ of Arnold Classic Ohio. James Hollingshead is returning to the stage after one year break from competitions. Last time we saw him on stage in 2022 Mr. Olympia where he was out of top 15. He is working with coach Milos Archiv now so hopefully we are going to see a new and improved version and possibly the best look ever of James Hollingshead in 4 weeks. He did beat Samson and Rafael Brando in the past but they have improved a lot and I personally don't think he's a serious threat for Samson or even Rafael Brando this time. He has his own shortcomings like he's narrow from his upper half, not really aesthetically pleasing but he's very dense and thick and presumably his conditioning will be top notch. He is another athlete who has a solid chance to crack top 5. Justin Rodriguez keeps sharing his physique updates, right now he's 4 weeks out in his recent updates. He was unable to bring his best look in his last couple of shows and this time fans are very skeptical regarding his performance in the Arnold Classic. He kept switching his coaches as we saw him with coach AJ Sim then coach Abdullah. He also worked with Kumar Garcia as well as coach George Fira. Right now I am not sure but I think he's under the supervision of coach Abdullah again and I really hope he brings his best look this time. In his recent most muscular shot, he looks really flat and a little bit downsized. He has tremendous peaky biceps but despite having amazing biceps, his triceps are not as good. I do not have him in the top 5 for on a classic but he can be very dangerous if he puts his all into it like we saw him in 2021 in the pro. 
Akeem Walim is going to step on stage after 2022 Mr. Olympia. He's a hard worker, always lifts heavy. He's dense and thick, but he has very thick skin and nailing his conditioning is a big challenge for Akeem. He's another athlete like Justin who is not consistent bringing his best shape on stage. I think he has the potential to be in the top 5 or even higher, but due to his inconsistency, mainly from his conditioning standpoint, I do not see him in the top 5. Brazilian rising star Marcelo aka the Horse MD is one of the heavy hitters in the lineup. As we know in his pro debut in Romania Pro 3 months before, he knocked out Olympians such as Nathan Diasha, Andrea Presti and presumably he's going to bring much better package this time. I really think he can sneak in the top 5. I'm personally very excited to see Rafael Brandao standing next to Hadi Chopin and especially Samson Dauda as both athletes have very symmetrical and aesthetically pleasing physique. And Rafael has made significant improvements from size standpoint which I think it's going to be very interesting to see him fighting mano a mano with Samson. I'm a little bit skeptical about his conditioning on show day but I think he has a solid chance to be in the top 3. Antoine Wayant is looking really good in his recent most muscular shot. He has impressive conditioning and amazing striations at 4 weeks out. He has very dominant lower half, humongous squats and I hope to see him bringing a complete and balanced package on stage. Mohamed Shaban is also returning to the stage after 2022 Mr. Olympia. He says he is going all in and leaving no stone unturned. I'm very hopeful that Shaban is going to bring something new, something very impressive in 4 weeks on Arnold Classic stage. John De La Russa has just shared his complete physique update. I think he will be fighting along with Antoine Wayant and Mohamed Shaban outside the top 5. Remeko Boss has given a sneak peek 4 weeks prior to the show. He's going to make a pro debut as he was winner of Arnold Amateur 2023. So it's a great opportunity for him to bring his best package in one of the most prestigious bodybuilding show. So that's all guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more updates. You, me or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Now if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth.